so the patience of the defense may just pay off. Boy, the most info, and a sneak up by Malsey that's caught, but it doesn't send them packing from the A site. Pacific aware this could still be a play in this direction, and now they've got the knowledge, still three players stacked up and ready, waiting for Apex, begging them to step through that choke point. Kayak, well, he will go down, and so too will Hype, leaving Apex with no ground, caught behind a smoke, and the entirety of the Pacific squad now on this side awaiting them. This round seems to be done and dusted. A hero for Apex will not be found as Pacific. Look at the lurk of Hype. The fact that he's so deep up and he's taken down Loiter. That was an aggressive. Here, they're not over rotating to that A site, panicking and allowing Apex to take advantage of the chaos. Instead, they're sitting tight, waiting for a play. And a little bit of mid information from Rose comes at a heavy cost with him down. Pacific still have those rifles from the early round. It's on comeback and it's on the rock. Breach rotated in as well. You see that stun go through. There's going to be some support of utility, but still two flashes and 30 seconds on the clock. Apex really need to up their gear. A lot to clear out with three players on the back of this site. Everybody's here. Oh, Pacific invited to the site and Apex. Well, they've got a player late to the party. It's a it's hype. 55 HP with no. We talk about this team. Oh, experience. They've been around a long time. That's the whole story we're selling you. This is their first match on stage. Thrived and have kicked off seven and zero already for comeback. It's getting dangerous and we're only just a few rounds in. Oh, it is. It absolutely is. Lloyd go, goes out for a bit of aggression and Ooh. comeback follows. Both meet the same fate in the late lurk from Avova. Catches Rose completely off guard. The rifles having... have been recovered by Apex. There is still a chance, but it's a slim one. Yeah, they're going to need another clutch play. That's already a good start. Kayak gone. He was one of the lower HP players. The steps, depending on how forward Laroque gets, I think he's heard them. He has. He might be in the perfect place at the perfect time. Goes for the swing. Only gets one, though. A good trade from Solkas. And again, the pressure goes back onto Jellison, trying to make his way back across the map, over onto this A site. And you mentioned those weapons not being in hand. Well, now they are. Yeah, now they've overtaken that space. And Pacific have only Jellison left. to attempt the recovery. Definitely not in a pretty position. Although he walks out of the smoke after the paranoia to find a free fight on the hype. Not aware of Sulkas. Come back straight in for the fight on Kayak. We saw that late lurk up from Avova last round, and Mother's well, certainly not going to get caught by it early in this one. That's the man advantage now. Sitting with the defender side, the operator as well, a factor that's going to be in the back of the minds of Apex. Seemed to be gearing up for a B hit, but I think they're just going to get hype into this position, plant him in. Try to find value later. No, spreading into a default, looking for aggression. I mean, 50, 50 or so seconds to get spiked down. And the drone's out on A. They're trying to fake it. They're getting past. This angle is not going to be easy. And as said, for Pacific, once they have Loiter in position, they're fairly happy to sit pretty. I'm trying to get proactive, but comeback's just too quick on the trigger. Another found with that operator. Vova does well to survive, but that op just isn't going anywhere. Comeback already with his third, another for Rose, and it leaves Solkas to try and fight versus the might of Pacific with four players up against him. He's at least going to get himself one, but I'm not sure there's anything else to be having. In fact, they're backing off. They're happy to give him the plan. They're happy to say, you know what? Get yourself in the Ten open. Stand forward. Try and find us. We're not going to give you a single thing. We talk about youth versus experience, but the way they played that looked like... Pacific side sees an early push up middle from Apex, but they're not deterred, having taken space inside of B main. The problem is these players now get split a little bit. If Kayak continued on that push, Jalison down and Kayak all the way behind, but he is dropped in just one. Backside control still for Pacific. The op under pressure with players close and now left all alone, but they'll still find one. Somehow this man always thrives under pressure. A missed shot. And the only man still left defending, but he is doing well, finally. A lot of players outside of A, waiting for the contact of Loida to put the stun through. And here it is. It's time. The stun is good. Isolating the closer fight, but Kayak's got a second piece of life now. Seven bullets left, and Loida can't land them. Come back. Luckily, keeping the numbers in their favor on the other side of the map, shutting down the mid lurk. But the A site's still under threat. Laroque already contemplating the Rolling Thunder. That's two players caught by it. Rose can't capitalize, though. He's being caught, too. All it does is run this clock down lower and leave Apex with less options, but less resistance when they eventually go for this push. The problem is with those quick left. rotations on Neon, comeback's already here and easily able to open that up.
He's also buying time, oh. but the time really isn't the issue. It's the amount of numbers that Apex have remaining. Molsi's position has gone unchecked. That at least opens a little bit of space, but he has no idea the Six. rogues. Yeah. In the server, <laughs> not even just on his own team. In the server. Early. Quite early indeed. Thrown in, but it's because Kayak can co so quickly close the space. But Jellison's caught him off guard at corner occupied when they didn't expect it to be. And Pacific make a quick rotation to fill Going. in the space of the info that they've got from Cypher. This is a round that has gone from bad to worse for Apex. Lloyd has taken a big Ooh. risk with the A push up. I guess he's content to come back here to fill in the gap. Yeah, they expect the peak again. Whoa, whoa. Okay. He's trying to delay them with the stuns, but again, now finds himself in no man's land. Soulcast opening up onto the B site as well. This might be an overextension for the side of Pacific. They had that advantage in their hands, and just again, the patience of Apex right have brought this into contention. The double up of players will turn this into a 3v3, although the site still favors this Apex squad. And with a solid flash and a solid trade, we still find ourselves oh, even once amazing. again. Lorog looks to take control and leaves it all onto Molsey, the leader of the squad. He's got 30 seconds to 30 play seconds with, left. looking for a little bit more. He's going to be pushed back by the aftershock, but I say that, he's actually looking to go forward. He's trying to bait a fight in a one versus one. He wants to take down one round of three of Ova, shift walking up mid, same thing for Hype, but since then it hasn't worked. And I feel like in late rounds, Pacific always have the man in the right place, looking the right way. Oh and this time there's two of them. Come back and Loida have clean. The advantage could possibly lie for them. That, that's the thing. This is a round where they were patiently waiting for aggression. That aggression comes to meet them and they still lose the battle. Loiter even used the paranoia just to get them out of that aggressive spot. Now the response is being hunted for and it has just not been shown. Mol onto that position whenever they desire. Loiter will be the one to bite the bullet. But other than that, okay. That's the second one at least. The problem is, he doesn't actually have time to go and plant a bin at taking this map control. And you might be thinking, oh, have they given it up this time? No, they're still looking for more. Comeback has been shut out. A good start. The patience again rewarded I for Apex, but there's always a second layer. And he waited for him to go and try and find the reveal on that body. And has got the kill through the cage, even again. Lloyd, uh, he's holding his ground, but will he commit to the fight? Yes, with Lorak here, you think so, and that swing is perfect! They're distracted by the... Wait and turn this one. Luckily, there will be a second half after the break. Are you worthy at this point? Who knows? There needs to be a response. This is a team with a lot of expectations and Pacific. Well, at the beginning of the year, if you thought they'd be here... You're crazy. I don't even think they did. It's a good start in the pistol round, though, and Kayak just isn't stopping. A, much more open as the drone comes through, clears out this space. Solkus, players in front and behind the flash. It buys him a little bit of space to take that fight, and luckily Kayak is cleaning it up. Solkus does the same a little later, keeps the numbers even. Not a bad start for Apex. Failing to catch the spike crossing is a little hiccup, but he has to get out of there. Yeah, that would have been a big kill. Finding them on the cross would have meant they have an advantage instead now. Fighting with slightly Shut weaker down. weaponry, a man down, and well, they know that Jellison's going to be around this corner somewhere, clearing and not going to be easy, and the double up makes it almost impossible. With a flash over top of Paranoia, perhaps, and the swing in, but Apex stay quite far back on A. It means Ooh. that comeback's able to get close, straight up mid, fighting into their spawn, and Hype now surrounded and being pushed on. Comeback's got both, cleared this site all by himself, and he's looking for more in the spawn. Finally put to bed, but the advantage is there for Pacific. Yeah, he was patient initially, hoping to give space to his teammates. Now they've got to be careful not to overextend. Loiter for a moment, but we've seen that in the previous half. At times giving a bit too much space. Instead, he's up in their faces, looking for a battle, looking for a brawl with a man advantage they don't need to face, and instead ends up evening up that scoreline once again. Post plant being fought for, the stun to hold them in place while the Hunter's Fury goes through, and Lorok has landed every shot that was called upon him. That tap may be expecting of over to stick it, but for now, not so much. Oh, what a bait! Avova thinks he's following. Just start our... shouting after that dart goes down as well. 
The, uh, yeah, it's not easy to figure out where this hit's coming in. The pressure instead relies on the individual's hype on the extremity, holding down this side, and he's doing a damn good job of it. Already got three! But the round is not safe just yet. Rose and comeback still lurk. He tries to find them. The hat off his head reveals the last man. He should have been the first to fall with 14 Advanced seconds. position on A. They don't have to worry so much about that spot. Oh, quick play from comeback. A little late connecting the shot. The paranoia fades, but Malsey does too. Evolva fires out his own, but it doesn't have the effect that he'd hoped. I thought that angle was good for Hype. Oh, and it's dead. If you're not losing games, you don't learn from them. So maybe this is an opportunity for Apex to score them. We'll have to wait and see. An aggressive early fight has not gone to plan. One of them can escape, Mitch. Unfortunately, Solcast can't. Yeah, well, he's going to be waiting. And Jellison even now regrouping with the squad to take this control. But the thing is, oh. Kayak is in an unusual position, one that Comeback has seen before. He was very ready for that. God, well, I wondered if the distraction of Molzy might have been enough to catch them off guard, but it wasn't. Mosey's at least done well, but the rest of the team are hightailing it towards that B site. Rose looking for the setup, claiming the extra orb, and there's not really a whole lot to delay them. A single trip on the left side of site. Obviously, the star can't be activated because Solcast is already down. So it's going to have to be the retake and hype. He looks to try and get ahead of it. An opportunity, nice. and you know what? That's a big kill. It is. With that Jellison and LaRock already being quite low, that is a monumental pickup Watching for this, this side. Spot. Keeping them in with a chance, and Hype swinging around the side, catches just one. Uh, uh, he's picked up the trip, but he hasn't put it back down. I thought that would go inside the smoke to cover. They're just defusing this straight under their nose. It's already most of the way across the line, and they've got it. Apex they have just snuck. It's not going to be something you've played against regularly. Having that double controller, a lot of potential, the more deadly. But Lloyd is the one sent up through heaven. This is a spot that Pacific leverage a lot, usually with comeback, and he might be making his way there, still with an updraft to work with. Backside cleared already. And Lloyd, because they don't see that pressure from up in heaven, he doesn't need to give up the spot he has in mid, to give up the information. They've lost comeback up, up above the smoke. of Ova's picked him off, and Apex yeah. regrouping to take this one as a unit. Lloyd could be the key man if he can catch him by surprise, but right now, no one's going his way. Yeah, there were hopes that maybe there'd be a rotation, but instead just looking to try and group up from the spawn. The Rock will start things off well. The fight's in the smokes. You'd expect to go the way of the SMGs, but it's gone well for them initially. Oh, that doesn't last long. Traded back down to just one. That last man, the Lurker in the back lines, looking for the fight. That's his kind. They're gambling on purchasing into the next round and maybe hoping that their opponents won't have forced. And because of that, Pacific now have a chance, if anything, with a favorable buy. This is... Well, very weird scenario, and we'll see if the defense can win it. If they can take this away, it would be so huge. Oh, Hunter's Fury's committed. Yeah, they really are throwing everything at this round. Spike down A. With the rock down, quick shot from Kayak has decimated him. Come back, able only for the one. Kayak pressured up top, and the SMG gets the better of him. Hype on just five health and being pushed. That SMG will be a terrifying weapon up well, against Dodging it. the dart, hiding behind the boxes. Flash went out from Laroque, and that was clean. Not the that opening pick, but they find it eventually. And with Kayak on 12 HP, the numbers certainly stacking against Apex, with hype falling even more so. The B site's now wide open. A five versus three, with one player extremely low. And the plant undeniable from Apex. They've even <laughs> lost Kayak because they just check to see if they can catch the planter. They end up in a 5v2 that I don't think they're going to go for. Uh, they've now found themselves in the worst of all of the worlds that they created. The one where they didn't force last round through fear of never really getting those full buys online to getting a full buy online and losing to a weaker purchase. Looking too much a comeback. 20 years old. He Here's played in that Fireflux young team, the one that Woot and Yetishay come from. I will say, I, I think that that might just be like, they're the chosen ones, because I don't know how that team was built. That's a better start though. Comeback removed early. I have the, spike. the operate into Kayak's hands, especially on that Yoru is always fierce. We'll see if he can be the difference maker here. Uh, he, I think he certainly will need to be. It's been three rounds in a row for Pacific that they've won, where they find it off of 3Ks. Jalison. Rose, I think it was Lloyd the last. Let's see who's up for it next. Drone gone through, spotted one down below, and Navova's in trouble. He's being hunted by the Hunter's Fury, but Rose 
not able to land the shot. Still buys the space for the plant to come in. Spike planted. I think for the attack, a pick would have been nice. But yeah, as you said, getting into this post plant, especially on B, can be pretty difficult to break apart. Now, the drone is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting in terms of clearing some of the off angles, some of the close positions that should be a little bit more awkward to try and clear. This late lurk, though, is almost everything. It's the in-game leader of Rose again, just coming up behind them, sneaking through that darkness while the rest of the team try and do the hard work by the extra time. There is a man on the diffuser, though. They've got to try and deal with a Vova. The Dart has kind of done that, but he's back on it. The shot Dart might close it. It doesn't even matter. Soulcast has done so much, and it just won't Utilize those mid lurks. This time, though, he's going to have to give up the site. Hunter's Fury. Malsey's put it in. Now that's buying them a little bit more time. Rotations are underway. And the pistols, all they need is the numbers. Seconds left. And to that, Solkus is in prime position. Cage just fell, ready to take a fight from up top, but waiting for his teammates. They want to have the numbers. He's the only man with a Guardian. That Astra up top. The Pacific, well, in most games I see them take control of this A site. They're taking control of Heaven, but this time they've decided not to do that. I think the pistols make a Ooh. difference, and they certainly have to start. Rose down already, and Laroc under pressure. Kayak's got his triple, and that could cement the round for Apex. Jellison, oh, he's taken down, leaving just a blade storm. Defuse underway already. The dash into the smoke, but Kayak. Go on the back of that cipher trap. In fact, it's going to be the smoke. He looks to play off the trap wire. They've stepped right oh. past it, but never mind. Destroying it in the process. Comeback only good for the one. A solid util from Hype, and he's been isolated as well. Oh. Trades back and forth. One of the better scenarios. And more importantly, the time is ticking. 15 seconds for this attack to try and get that spike down. And the second it is tapped, flash through. Decoy as well. They're faking things out. Shot still landed, though. And Rose left with a chance. It looked like an impossible scenario. And while well, Mosey's there. Take or, oh, it is going to be aggressive. He's just jumped around the outside. They didn't expect it. He took a risk. Trusted his movement. And he gets two for it. That's a devastating start for Pacific. Uh, I feel like a 4K is coming for Kayak with how these rounds have been going. Back to back for Apex. Uh, Lloyd, he steps up this time. Even shuts I down Kayak. Exactly Evens the numbers. It. Puts them back on the board in the side of Pacific. Even get a plant out of this situation. Some utility coming in. The Shock Dart causes some problems. Paranoia doesn't quite hit, but Jealous Sun does. The numbers stay even. At two versus two, the pullback from Pacific. Laroc and Lloyd just want the post plant. They're stacked up on the platform in A main, ready to take this fight. A firing squad, just look at those red lines, about to be stepped into and hype. Well, he found out the hard way just where they were, that paranoia not blinding them. They're ready to swing and confirm the defuse isn't being stuck, flash in, just buying time. The clock will tick down further and further until this defuse is stuck. He's got an app already. Stuck no it way. right underneath the ultimate, and now just oh! seconds away, he's got it! They're in the lead. These rounds have really been down to clutches, and it's a bait and switch. Again, looking for that opener, but Kayak will meet his demise. He's been the king of opening kills so far in this map, and on well, off angle, twice removed. The pressure put on to Morsey. I think he was hoping he could dodge that dart. Instead, he's got to try and fight versus comeback. And well, if I've learned anything, there is no coming back from that. Rose with another. An immediate response looking likely from Pacific unless another hero can arise. I mean, Avova's nowhere nearby either. That operator. I think worth a bit more being held onto at this point, but it all depends. If Hype can pick up a few. Last player standing. Yeah. That's not ideal. He still stuck around. He might regret that now deciding to hightail it, but they know what weapon he's got. They do not want him to save it. Know exactly where it is to. Boxed in and hunted down. The sheriff shots don't. Get out of my way. Already. The ultimate's built up. Apex have a good chance to keep things level with the pistol. With a few clutches going their way. I don't think they'll mind that too much. A good start as well. Hype's holds have been something to admire. And they will continue to be, even with a pot flash, he's been able to take down the opponent. Now even gets the information for the remainder of the team. With 45 seconds left, a full rotation back with how aggressive Avova has been at times, just 
isn't worth the gamble, isn't worth the risk. Instead, they look to face straight into hype. And even while seemingly blind, he'll land another shot. Another 4K, can it turn ace? Just one man stands between him and Laroc will deny. So much more to do. But even still, a one versus five isn't beyond this man. 20 seconds left is the major problem of over. Only just starting that rotation back. Old from Kayak, I like this. It's worth expanding at this point. You know, it's the last round of the half. Why not? He found the info, locked him down, allowed Malsey to clean it up. Two for the late round. Comeback's on the dash away, but he's not giving up the space. Too many players here to support him. He's been spotted. Lloyd and not quite. Kayak seen at the back of the site. Jump up. Not good for comeback. He's dropped immediately. Big reveal. Rose looks to capitalize, but goes straight into the pack. And they're all looking his way. Lurk up from hype as well. Devastating as Laroc goes down. It's Jalison. One versus five. Safe to say that pistol that Apex desired seems to be locked in. I'm getting a little bit worried now. Jalison's hitting shot after shot. And he has been on four, but he doesn't know that Sulkus is tucked away. And these other players just escaping the site. It should be enough to close it out. The element of surprise is like a spotted the Ooh. shot connected to the head. I'm getting very worried, but the it's time no that's what they've got. They're back. Surely. It's already gone at this point. They've got the numbers. And it looks like the spike was good or bad. We'll see. It does bring them straight into comeback. Flash stops him from fighting at the start, but that cage is soon to drop. Jellison under pressure round the back. Comeback's already fallen. They need to hold strong, and it's Jellison surrounded and dropped by Kayak. Apex left. with the sight control and double the manpower of Pacific. Looks like they've got themselves around on the board, and the investment they made coming into this very much worthwhile. The rifles left on Pacific. Well, they could even have a discussion about saving at this point. The pick for Lloyd, though, will spur them forward. Kayak tagged down to 47, but a nice side angle from Malsey. Seems to put the final nail in this coffin. We've seen clutches from Laroc before. Doesn't know where the second player is. Got the info with that shot, actually. Starting to put the pieces together. And a big mistake from Malsey. He fell for the fake flash. Thought the play was coming in there. Laroc has an angle as well. The smoke not fully blocking, getting it near half. But a Volvo. Defending this site, it might have to be a retake. The choice is there for Lloyd to take. Getting out of his not going to be easy. He's managed to use his shrouded step to keep him alive a little longer. The paranoia, but he's just on one HP. Sat at the back under so much pressure from Kayak. Rose is trying to deal the damage, but it's Kayak once again. He started to take over. Come back, picking off one with the AWP as they swing around the corner. Plenty of players to back him up, but instead, it was not quite as pretty oh, as that. I said a 2v1 ninja defuse earlier. Well, comeback's had enough, and you've made the beast angry. Spike right there. If Rose goes crazy and just swings that angle, they could have this round tied up in a nice bow. With hype down, this does get a little bit difficult. Yeah, the problem now for Apex is they have no map control. None. It's only outside A, and, and everything's just been revealed. They have got to go now. Otherwise, they know the full force of this Pacific squad are going to be bearing down on them. Kayak looks to try and make a play, but he doesn't even get out of the smoke. And for the remaining two, they're going for this. You're, you're sat in a spot where you have almost every single player with max cash. The only reason you would save, if anything, is to try and deny the orbs from your opponent. Molsey's going to try and make a play over the top. That's at least one. But it does look like the plan Ten is to just try and left. hold on to the weaponry. Keep things going, I guess, every little bit longer and try and chip away at any defensive players who try to face them. Managed to get his dimensional drift back online. Rose is immediately going to try and counter any further pushes, but they know exactly where comeback is. Just looking to try and almost fire him on his own. Oh, and the flash is sublime. And Kayak looking for that little bit more. His utility's offline. There's no escape at this stage. He has to fight forward, but he's still around the back of the site. It looks to team up with the rest of the members of Apex. It's starting to look like it's falling apart for Pacific. And just as that B site. Almost falls. Apex are out of there. Falling back all the way. The TP just to try and clear any close angles. But the rotation has come in from this defensive side. At least one of them. Jellison is trying to buy time. Just putting up those cages to almost sell a ruse that there could be someone close. There is not. He's not made it past the cage either. Seconds left. They know that he's there. 
No idea on Laroc though, perhaps. If he can draw their eye for long enough. No, Laroc's been spun on Hype! The immediate drone use from Rose lets them know that there's no one here. 25 seconds left. Jellison again is left blind, but he wins the fight, but only the first. And bear in mind, comeback still sat there with weaker weaponry. Has so much to do, but he gets out. That dash allows him to escape and rejoin with his teammates, but still a couple of players are low. Hype. Looks to be proactive. He's been left completely blind, but clearing both of them isn't going to be easy. He's now the last man standing in the swing. They've been taking this orb for free in almost every single round, and he's looking to try and deny that. Knew that's where they'd be, but definitely takes the brunt of the damage. Only a single knife left. He's left onto just a shorty. Trying to hold the line at the back of side. Kayak again will open things up, but the spam isn't enough. Looking for a trade back instead is Rose. That Hunter's Fury has done unbelievable amounts of damage. The fragment you'd think would buy time, but it hasn't. That spike has been retrieved. And now it's being planted, but Rose thinning out those attackers' numbers as the round goes on. The shock dart catches Evolva. The shrouded step not quite quick enough. And Hype, the last man standing. A 1v2 spike planted in the alleyway and gets a trap down as well in case they're closer. Even manages to dodge the paranoia, knows there's no defuse underway, and just holding the one laneway that really represents the danger. They're walking up, they're looking for the fight. Hype gives them it to start and to finish the match! Gonna be making that presence known into middle, but there might be an expectation there, an immediate brawl, an immediate battle as we kick off our third map. And for now, it's going blow for blow. Timmy, the turret's even gonna rise to the occasion and put one in the body pile. He sends a start at the tingle. Knife came out in a quick rotation. Rose is on site and ready for this hold with Avova just now making it to the site. He spotted Malsey. The flash for the double P, that puts him to bed. Jalison does well with 170 HP in a 1v2, locked out with the Nano, and the plant secured. A tough battle for him indeed, the drop out of heaven. Could be the last thing he does here. He attempted this in the last pistol. It was a 1v4 that he brought much closer than we ever expected. The turret is giving him away, and as you said, jumping down from here makes it impossible. Even the spam up from Avova, he knew that there would be an attempted play through his smoke. To their advantage. Malsey's the guy on long. He's only got a pistol, but he's using his utility to put them into an uncomfortable position. Kayak already up close, but tucked in the smoke. The paranoia doesn't present very much danger, and they wait. There should be some utility to cover that backside push. It's the flash that gets them in, but they've not cleared Loida. No one's looking on the left. Loida's has at least got a chance now. He's holding on with so many people peeking him. And the rest of the squad doesn't get here on time. Laroc desperately low. You have to look to Rose to recover this round. Now is on his shoulders. He's caught. Map one, unbelievable. Map two, a bit quieter. Map three, so far, non-existent. But this is where we expect to change. We absolutely do. Come back, like you said, quiet. But now has the all posted up and looking for a victim. It's hype. Just behind that smoke, hiding around the corner, but that's the reward he gets. Rose walkabouts and quickly cleaned up flank secure. Apex have to plant in on B. The rifles now not able to get much done through these smokes. Rolling Thunder as well, putting them on the back foot. That's the op. Caught on sight. Comeback's chance might just be taken out away from him here. The flank's already underway with Avova wrapping on the side. Solka's holding strong. Comeback's best chance is to get out of here with the op. He's taking this rifle out of Comeback's hands, but the shot won't land for Solka's and the others simply too far away. Yeah, he will be just about. Well, this is a much more direct round from Apex by the looks of things. Straight into the sea site. Drone already clears out garage. They've got the space in the walk in from Kayaks, cleared the sea site. It's all open for the taking. Will there be a play from Jalison? A drop out of the window? It doesn't look like it. Everybody just grouped up on that. Hold on, is Kayak going? Surely he doesn't continue this. I see a breach close by. A flash that goes into the back. And in fact, no, it's just Kayak. Dry peeking in for two. Almost gets a third for his trouble. And it's Molsey to keep numbers even. But he goes down. Hype. On the side, swung wide by Rose in the 1v1. Rose left on five HP, but his opponent, oh, the shock dart, it came very close. The plant still needs to be secured, and with the drone, that's the perfect time. You know he's not pushing you. You know you can get that locked in. The reveal might give him something to work with. Rose needs the head to line up right away. Forced back, but it's all a ruse just to try to bait them into the A-long angle. Unfortunately for them, and that is Pacific, 
The play is coming back in to see. It is the same as the previous round with the split coming in. They've caught Jealous Sun. The flash is perfect. Loida recovers nicely and even drops the spike. He's holding inside his smoke, but Evolva beats him to it. Solkus on a slight off angle. They just need to get that spike on the ground for now. And it's this man that has to... Oh, he's surrounded. They're everywhere. Behind him, in front of him. But still, what? he makes it out. Beautiful shot on the Rose. And a lockdown as a result. But it's not needed. It's Solkus locking this round down for Apex. Another nail in the corner. All the way to the finals. The final hurdle stands in their way. And that final hurdle has the misery of losing the last. It doesn't look like Apex want to do that again. Another opener goes their way for Jellison. There's at least something, but they know he's in this corner. This is a little bit messy, though, from Apex. Oh, there were a couple of flaws, but they brought it back even. TP used into spawn, but Spike is down. Sp Spike's right down in the C choke point. It's a cancellation from Evova just to cause a headache for these specific players having to cover every angle. They've seen him now, though. And Comeback doesn't miss those shots all too often. The Spike almost irretrievable and hype on 36 HP for Pacific. Uh, might finally be around on the board. 7-1 to one is not an awe-inspiring scoreline, at least not in the way they'd hoped for it is at least a foundation laid. It's something to build upon for hype. Yeah, just one bullet. They're getting on the board. More important than anything else. Again, we see these early fights. And they have been traded fairly even. Lorok looking to try and stick around, but the continuation of aggression is their undoing. They wanted to fight tooth and nail for A control. They don't have A control, and they've got a man disadvantage. What they did have was two very high impact ultimates. Now that's only one, and when you're playing alone, a Rolling Thunder's not as high impact as you'd like. Yeah, not quite. You get one with the Rolling Thunder, one with each flash, you know, maybe that's gonna work out, but uh, yeah. Dream scenarios for Lorock. This instead may be a nightmare with Apex losing one round and immediately fighting back. Pacific. Oh, they've certainly left us wanting. Spike. Almost undefusable, and the rock's going to be nice. Don't you do it. Hype is walking right up behind him, blade in hand, and it's done. Rose about to find some information. They're stacked up outside A. That drone, I don't know if it's going to spur them on or get them to pump brakes for late round, but oh. either way, it is going to see a Volva <laughs> fall to an absolutely gorgeous wall bang. I take my hat off to you, Larock. Uh, Kayak, though, has opted to take that space with the rolling thunder in and the oh, lockdown. They're going to try it. Actually, no, it's the attack side trying to pressure, but it's an immediate response. Loiter now looking to try and clear Mosey from position. A lockdown even put into play, trying to force them back, but Kayak has no plans of that. His only goal is to try and go forward, play that time down to the last second, get the swing, and he does it right, but it's still only going to be that one. The trade out, though, puts the advantage with Apex once again. Shocked up through. Extra damage to Jellison. The aftershock, I don't know if it's reached quite as far as they'd like. And Jellison goes pushing instead. Looking to clear these back angles, but Hype just staying invincible in the back lines. Finally, he's dealt with. But that clock is now ticking. And Mosey's already repositioned. There just isn't enough time to even play with. Now he's let go. It matters not. He's put nine to one. Double digits possible in round 11 for Apex. This is a competitive series. Ha, neck and neck the end of the first half last okay. map, but now Pacific okay. have to scrap back and they're doing it. Lots of damage done with two players dropped in the early round. It's one of the best starts Pacific have had. For sure. Yeah, a bit of a gamble with the ult, but it's worked. This is one that they definitely can't afford to let slip, though. Garage control. Hype's going to try and make a play. Timing here is everything. He's been spotted by comeback and doesn't opt to right do too much. It seems like Paranoia is actually being set the other way. They've got to be careful. They're desperately trying to destroy any utility. The swing actually is jealous and to win that battle too. Look like he was dead to rights, but on 5 HP, he'll live just that little longer. Eventually dealt with Molsey, looking to take space onto the side, but so much more still to do. Hoping for an afterplan, hoping again that maybe Solkaz can pull something off, but with a stun perfectly placed, a paranoia putting Molsey up against it all. These post-plant plays where he is the first point of contact. This time, though, it'll be a Vova. Again, they've had this four-man attack, but instead a quick rotation back to try and put support over on C. 
This is where the space is. That support's not going to last long at all. In fact, Kayak deals with it. But Jellison, again, a bit of a sneaky position. He's realized there's nobody coming from the other angle, so he'll hold on to the C site. And in fact, it seems like the rest of Apex may just opt to try and join up with Hype on B. Yeah, for now at least, the Spike is playing the buddy system. Solkus waiting. He heard steps just outside a garage, and you know they might want to re-clear that eventually with the Killjoy Util not there deep into the round. Player spotted on B. That's Solkus' opportunity. He crosses in the window, makes it a little closer. We can see Larock is watching it, but his attention has to be divided. No one is here to cover that walk on the site until Rose gets here, tucked in on the close angle. Watching the walk up, stun, even prime, and that's beautiful! Pacific with a set play to retake that space. They combo perfectly. And Sulkus, although he has thread the needle, left. he's not going to be able to draw that much blood with four players still floating around. Well, also the full seaside push from Jellison. It leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, Two found, and there is time for this. He's got to be wary of a player coming in from middle, though. Jellison's just opting to try and play with the time and while Rose. That is something that never has been achieved and in the first year was never expected to be. They have got one hell of a job to do to get themselves back into this map, but with the A site under their control, it's an immediate response. Come back. Manages one, but they are not looking to just sit back on that defensive side. Maybe they should have been. Hype now left to fight 1v3, the pistols have gone their way. Pacific the have a read on it. Uh, at least they've made the right call in taking this elsewhere. Straight into the B site. Alarm bot still gonna give over that information at least, but Spike hard to planted. respond. They've got the plan and they're out of here with most players being able to exit without taking a fight. The only one that can just come back. Hadn't got his dash online. And I think honestly looking for Apex, they didn't lose a player there. Kayak walking about on A long, he's not found much, and they've got two players fighting the extremities, but Pacific are ready for this. They're covering every gap, and there's even a paranoia Beautiful. early play with the flash from Breach to take hype. That's devastating. Now, even jumping over the plan spray. This is falling apart. Already the dart in, and it's just gonna be the spam through from comeback. He's had enough of these sort of shenanigans. A clean of players coming their way. There's the stun and a ton of utility. You certainly know now Pacific got come back onto the site, but he falls immediately. Hunter's Fury expanded, and the attack side seems to claim some decent space. Molsey is certainly a thorn in their side, and the rotate from Hype. Well, it's not going to get anything. Larocs tripled up on the breach and found them a 2v1 with an op on Rose. Kayak's got an op as well, but in the retake, this is going to be much harder to make work. A lot of angles to clear. The spike only now going down is at least information to work with on one player, and he doesn't see them go short. Good idea that he's got to focus on long. Goes to the rifle as well. He knows they're likely to group up and take that fight together. Recon goes down. Kayak's waiting for the swing, but they're patient. Pacific are not giving him the chances. Only peeking periodically. And now, with the tap, they go wide! The rolling thunder primed and ready. I would say it certainly will be. Avova, well, he has his ult, has his shrouded steps, and he oh, will not quick get enough. to use them. Comeback is just a little too quick. The blade storm lands the frag. The plant Spike is secure, planted. but comeback goes down. Solkus has the gall to step into the operator's sights, and he wins the fight this time. Yeah, with the ults they have, that is massive. Rolling Thunder can push them back, even looking to try and catch that player under heaven. Someone they want to try and isolate. Hunter's Fury is not going to be using yet, hasn't connected. And in fact, the counter utility is holding them back a little further. They don't even check properly for Loiter. Player wide. But that's exactly where his opponent is stood, right down below. Not being caught by that means he doesn't land on the floor. He doesn't make a sound cue. He doesn't give away the fact that he's 9-3 to three down when we started this half. And they have the lead without budging. On the other oh, side. The round where you already have a deficit. There needs to be someone to make a play. This time it's Solkas. Again, after an early kill run. goes one direction. He's the one to bring it back. Now, this lockdown is going to clear out so much space. Almost maybe hoping that it will force some players on C into the open. In fact, they're just going walk about. Hype is completely baffled by the idea that they would walk into the C side with a lockdown on B and come back once again. Becomes that bodyguard. Becomes the bouncer as they try and get back into the site. Hype planted to lean towards the character Region. It's this entry into the site again. The stack is good from Apex. Oh, what? Utility from Larocque grabs the kill on Solkus. No assist either. It's all him. All the damage comes from that mad hype. 
on the corner. Good for one. They come through the smoke and he adjusts in time, trying to get out of there and keep the numbers in favor, keep the lockdown yeah. online. And that's exactly what's going to be used here. But Rose is on walkabouts. It's a dangerous play. There's two players watching what? him. He even gets damage in. 23 on hype. But they're still at least able to get into a safe corner to run that lockdown. But Apex gained the space as a result. No smokes to block them out. It's got to be just raw angels and off up for grabs. Maybe Hype would take that. He's quite low. And he's the one swinging first, but the trades relied upon are found. And Rose, with a sliver of HP, has to try to deny this defuse. Malsey getting it to half under his nose. Double swing to close it as well. Whoa! And that might be their mistake. They could have had it defused by now. Shock Dart in. Damage done, but not in time. Very little in their back pocket. Last time Pacific got nine rounds in a row. This time they're stopped at eight at Apex. Seem to get right back on that horse. Rose does his best to recover, but balls. He's quickly there for two. And Jellison now has it all to do. 45 HP, the spike in his back pocket, and Hype and Solkus complete unknowns. On low HP, Shock Darts and a Hunter's Fury pose a great danger, but Solkus might not get the chance to use them. Oh, the timing is perfect, but the Teams are hanging off the edge of a cliff. Kayak again. He hasn't lost that confidence. He's still looking for fights. He's still trying to face off. And Rose is happy to meet them. But this is all just a ruse. Paranoia has been thrown through on the other side. They are making their way straight in towards this seaside. There is no resistance here other than some spam from Hype. For Apex, the economy is in a little bit of trouble too. Avova and Solkus have invested down to their last. A loss here. Wouldn't put them in the best position to try to fight for their overtime. Pacific have site control, plant in. Last map, a lot of defuses. The time's already run quite low. Stun goes in, comeback's close, avoiding reveals. The Hunter's Fury just about whizzing past him. He's got a close spot and they're unaware. Completely blindsided, but he's only good for one. Jellison tries to pick up the pieces, but stops after two. Loida in for one, and we're in the 1v1. Rose, he's been lurking around all round long. Halfway defused already when the swing comes come through. Malsey down to 40. Time not on his side, and Rose swings it's not the best for their opponents. They're taking a gamble, going straight into the seaside. Once again, Hype is still setting up utility as the Rolling Thunder looks to clear, but it's only going to clear the back of sight. He won't be affected. Come back, he tried to get ahead of that, but he's caught still. Kayak able to quickly convert. That's a big frag. A player that's done so much damage to them every single time. Spray back gets Hype, though. Numbers equalized. Team P used oh, here by Loida. He's deep in the spawn and spotted by Solkas. Now surrounded as well. Players coming from both sides. Loida is drawing these defenders out into a fight though. Three players now focused entirely on their spawn. It by space, but look at the push up from Kayak. 45 HP, but if he catches them off guard here, it's all down to the timing. If they're looking the other way and he doesn't quite get around in time, they've escaped as has Loida up into heaven. It looks like Pacific will regroup and the turret even confirms oh. that Kayak's behind them. They've come out of this one smelling like roses. There was a million things that could have gone wrong there for I Pacific, planted. but instead every single one of them has gone right. It leaves us in a 4v4 scenario. Not a lot to play with in terms of ultimates. In fact, absolutely nothing will play a part in this final rounds other than the utility they have in their back pocket and the raw gunfights. That's where you'd normally favor this young Turkish side as they look to pick them apart, but the trades are there again. Low on HP, but they'll get the job done. Pacific with a comeback for the ages from 7-0 down. And the first man who will meet them is Solkaz. Well, the last map was certainly his, his performance strong. Almost every time we see it this time, I don't think that's gonna be the same. Caught by the net, his own in fact, but he lands the kill anyways. Come back, dropped early, Nate forces Jellison forward. And it's Apex with the early advantage that almost slipped away. Luckily, Laroc on 22 HP won't have a lot to say about this round. And he's even been spotted by the knife. Ah, this guy. It's been insane individually, but with low HP, that's going to be very difficult. Good chance to deal damage and make it easier for those pistols. Walking straight into Kayak ain't going to help out, though. Holding strong with the Outlaw. Now the setup to be tested on C, the off angle for Hype. He is in danger with pistols being what he's up against. But he's got the support from Avova. Solkus low and caught aggressive. A sneaky play by Loida that's not only got them control, but also a weapon recovered. This round hasn't gotten too dangerous yet, but... 
Well, the warning signs are starting to pop up, and Apex seem like they're going to be locked into a retake on the A site. With the pistols, it's a pretty idyllic start. Spike planted. God, there's so many trap positions as well that they have to be wary of. Someone coming in behind them. That, that might actually be of over dead to rights. The classic is so dangerous, but he's just oh. fighting his time, and instead no he's been given the freebie of hype. I don't even know if that's been communicated. They're too busy focusing on the players on site to realize there's still a man behind, just walking past everybody. And now Mosey, well, he might just have to gamble this. Manages to get it to half, but there's so much more to do. Stats. Nobody else even close in the server. It's just him dominating. Scary prospects for Apex in this series, most definitely. They started out well, but they have fallen behind just by one. In this round, the same can be said for Pacific. Rose down early. The plan seems to be secured as a result. Jealous Sun. He's gone walking through up close on the cage. It's not expected. And a free kill to Malsi as a result. He needed it. He didn't think anyone would have the gold to stand inside. LaRock holding strong on the site. That's his second and his third. This one's put to bed. Sulkus with a 1v3 and getting past LaRock seems to be impossible. You can put him on any agent and you sit there and go, he is in the open in the middle of a site. He is dead. Kill him. And then at the end of the round, I'm going, and he's gone for a And I don't know how I get there. It's, any it's weight and gold. The A site. I don't know how much space weighs. I think it's zero, but... Worth even more than its white and gold, I suppose. Oh, Kayak, he's caught an isolated great flash coming through and an ult that reveals everybody on Apex as a result. They can get into an after plan. Comeback's ult has been expended. It was only needed for space, and a man looking to rotate him from behind is already dead. Uh, this almost has to be a save. Delson's flanking. Yeah, they're, they're locked into this one. Soulcast surely is going to meet his demise as well. Now another man within this Pacific roster takes over the round. They've got so much depth in talent. And there seems to be nothing they can do. And then it almost looks like at this stage, Apex might just fade out with a whimper. They are being bodied in this map so far. This round, it's the Cypher to take control and he's looking to try and claim another victim. The timing could have been better for him. And he knows where that last man is standing. Ace. We've seen 4Ks, we've seen millions of 3Ks. But the one thing we haven't yet seen in this final is an ace, and they are hunting for it. They're looking to try and give it over to Jellison. They haven't found where that last man is standing. Oh, and we We've seen this move before. Make presence, yeah, stun yeah. probably to go, recon as well, and Spike is on its way. I again thought this was a fake, but they're committing because they found no resistance. I'm out of here. Rolling Thunder is potentially going to make things a little bit easier if they even need to use it. There hasn't been a reaction eventually. The frag will go through and the spam. Molsey's done well. He's been the one saving grace for them so far. Comeback also desperately low. The spam, it's close, but he's in a safe space. He will be able to hold the line. And now they've still got that Rolling Thunder. But look at the ults on the other side. Something I've They're gonna use it. really spoken about a lot is Solkes with that annihilation from these positions. The spam works again. And that Rolling Thunder finally gets put into play. Just looking to buy as much time as humanly possible. A potential TP into the back of the site. That will be a surprise. They've tried to lock them off, but he's the only man standing and he'll be clear. Of their own. They were given this site for free last time. It was just the spams that dealt them damage. So they're trying to check to see if those spams will be there again. I can tell you for free, they almost definitely will be. It's a question of can they counter it this time? And yes, they're going to avoid that spot altogether. With three players lined up as a firing squad, op as well in the mix just to try to punish when they go for those spams. No punish to Good be found at the start. The flash was perfect. Kayak falls though, and so does Malsey. It's starting to look a little bit spooky. The Annihilation catches one. Loina falls as well. And the pressure now all onto LaRock. He cannot break his teammate free, nor can they get Malsey back. It's a 1v1 in the ammo. Really anything to execute off it. And they've lost space elsewhere, but that space doesn't really give anything. Three man swing player up top though. Kayak's just drawing their eye. Nade's gonna go through. And we can see Malsey pounce to try to take them down. He smoked out and Rose invaded the smoke. Took the space up close, just like Kayak's doing here. 4v4, this pick could mean everything. And there it is, Spike on the floor. Evova comes in to meet the squad. And Rose up top, putting up a good fight with three on the board, but that is over on Rubble. The Nade doesn't quite catch them. Very close, a little deeper, and it could have. Hunter's Fury fired through, and the Rubble control that was taken comes at a heavy price. Pacific are rolling this side of the map with Malsey spotted and eliminated. Come back, Dan.
dancing across his screen, and he's doing just the same with hype. Oh my goodness! Evolva's left alone. And that guy, when you put him, definitely being an attack side of team. And that's if they're lucky to get to five rounds. At the start of this round, they got rubble control, but doesn't look like Pacific are too upset about giving that up. Instead, they want to fight deep, but a good paranoia drops comeback. That is the danger man of these oh, rounds no! dealt with, but they haven't spotted Rose, and now players come in from the other side. It's a full pinch from Pacific, but not one that goes well. their way. A 2v3, showstopper online and fired out perfectly. Solkus and Avova, they just have to deal with Loida, and he's on his way to the A site. Evolva won't quite ult. catch him, and the ult will be used to retrieve that spike, but Apex, will they know exactly what he's going for. They're familiar with this game. Spike taken is already there. and brought to A, but Solkus rounding the back of the site, the element of surprise. Taking some C control. But they put this utility down on Rubble every round, and then it's being ignored. Instead, they try to take space on C. Now Evolva, wonderful job, even gets out of there. Basically for free, a four versus three, a huge advantage. Space on A conceded completely. It looks like Pacific want to regroup and hit, but not even regroup. Comeback's going in. At least he's put his wall down to make it seem so, but the door will soon open. And the B site will be hit. I thought the spike was going through there, but I guess they're waiting for Loida to find the space, and he's done just that. Yeah, he almost goes down. It seemed like it should have been a kill that would have gone the way of Kayak. He had the surprise angle, but it was no surprise. That's a huge opener with a Vova tag down to just 5 HP. He's going to reposition behind them. The TP will have been heard. There is also a cam. If he gets past it, maybe this will be a problem, but no. They know exactly where he resides, but he almost just has to be a thorn at this point. He's so low on health that him making a play is just not going to happen. The cop of the trap. He's reliant on so much more. The net through. Has caught out Jealous and he's stuck crouched in this corner, but he's happy to stay there. And again, Evova's just so low on HP. Already. Look at the firing squad that awaits this side. There are four players currently holding, but Mosey's the first to take that kill. A lot of damage already done, and the nade will hold them back a little bit longer. In fact, Apex, I think they definitely spotted how many players are currently there. And with the footsteps being hard, so much information. Kayak got dinked up, but instead he's now in the back lines. It's going to take them a moment to destroy that barrier mesh. And while they're hunting to try and work out where that raise has gone, they're falling like flies. Yeah, Larock, and now it looks like one more to add to the list. Rose, it is Malzy to drop him eventually. The number's quite low. Be a chance to rewrite the history books. Already, though, Loiter under serious pressure, you'd think, but he's got that opener anyway. And he's not getting out of here. Usually you'd see players in a rush to escape, but he stuck around for another couple of seconds looking for another pick. Man advantage now for the defensive side. Four players shifted to the right side of the map. Pretty heavy stack, but they right. certainly called it correct. A battle of the ciphers perhaps on the other side as the lurks come in later. <laughs> but there might not be any time for them. A quick and clean shot. Trying to make sure there's nobody towards that broken door and the attack of Apex at this stage is split. Just trying to desperately find a gap. Solkas with two. What? Uh, this round was looking almost down in the dumps, dead. But instead, somehow, he's managed to turn the tide, make it competitive. Still got comeback to deal with. And he is wary that there could be someone towards Tree still. Well, Solkas finding two from there. You can't blame him. The real worry, though, is the time. 30, 30 seconds, seconds left. left. Apex have to try and make a move, and it seems like the B site is their idea, and Solkats has got another! His third kill of the round already! They're still moving to B. Both players will be ready to take this fight. Lorox spot shown by the stun, but Jalison still unknown. The cage stops his aggression. The plan will be found. Numbers now for Apex. All they have to leverage to close this out. Sonic sensor for the spike. Jalison in trouble. to the C site and activate this. The Cypher setup is no longer in play. And that's exactly what's just happened. Seems that Apex are starting to stir from what has been a nightmare. And are starting to take control of this game! Hype back in the server alongside them as well. Fights And Hype just obliterated them. And, and this is what we always talk about with best of fives, peaking at the right moment. Well, eight, four down. They need to make that scoreline closer before it slips out of their hands. We'll see. One round lead for now, full buy for Pacific. Pressure on C, but Jalison waiting for them to walk into his sight. Yeah, they're also going to try and double down on it. Oh! That's a solid Hunter's Fury. It might not have cleared out the players, but it has left them low. 
a chance to level things up immediately, but of over. He's already put one on the death toll. This is an interesting position from comeback. One with risks about it, but might not be expected. And Avova has kind of gone back to back with the rest of the players. They don't even know he's here. Finally, he's been dealt with. But it leaves just one defender left on this C site. We've already seen Apex over the last few rounds turn rounds on their head. To convert their lead even further, they need to do it once again. Ozzy and Sulkus, Annihilation available, 55 on Rose, 85 on Loida. It's not an advantage, but it's something. Annihilation doesn't land. That's a miss, and it confirms they're still here. The firing squad ready and waiting. Paranoia delays even further, and with 15 seconds on the clock, options are limited. Malzi decides to take it to B. The nade Good won't land. Set. This is something that Apex fought for on their defensive side. I expect to see them scrap for it here on the attack. And, well, this is it. Full on aggression, and comeback pops the ult to shut it down. Avova thought he had the sneak up behind, but Loida more than ready. And now Apex left trying to pick up the pieces in a 3v5 again the util holding them back they're gonna run into more and more pieces as they look to go further the knife will actually remove everything in play for jellison and his spam hasn't dealt too much but even still they're revealed a clean Apex to run they're gonna still try and sell the idea that there is pressure being put on a those players now without utility without a hope to hunt but there's still two within this b site waiting watching for that fight laroc is on an off angle that might not be expected he needs to find something but he's shut down immediately the rest to the defense, however, has been able to find their way, but they will all with a rocket launcher for Kayak. That's got to be point of contact. This, no, it's not. He's not even activated it yet. Just oh, walking okay. in with the rifle, and that's a mistake he won't live to regret. Come back. Surely not. Surely oh, not. He almost goes down to the fragment. Of Ova's position being revealed. He's going to fake out the TP and just opt to hold in the corner. Oh, it somehow still wins the duel. Left completely blind. Comeback still fighting strong. The flash will leave an opponent blind, but still winning that fight. Rolling Sun does sent into position. And the rotation from Hype is a long one. He needs to get there. He needs to get there quick. The angle's being held by Comeback. The man who's dealt them so many issues. The spam's going to do damage, but they've already defused. Avova kills off almost to respect, every... but to be doing it again. damn afraid of. Laroc in with a chance here. The rocket launchers. Oh, it spots him. And Avova gets him first. And it's the same sort of start, though. Comeback fighting from an angle. Another response to put the advantage with them once again. What they're all fighting for on screen, that trophy. Theirs to take home. If they can convert this advantage in one more round and the spike is left on the deck of over, he's going to claim it and take it to the spawn. One of the most unorthodox positions you'll ever see the spike in. And his teammates are going to try and meet up with him. The thing is the defense will have no idea where Avova currently sits and he might be able to be everything in this round. If he can find this kill onto Jellison, he could potentially turn this into a victory. But Jellison is now fighting deep within the site. He's left within his cam, has absolutely no idea where his opponent is going to be coming from, but they are slowly revealing the ideas, slowly selling the idea, and he walks straight into the hands of Avova. That advantage dissipates, and we find ourselves 3v3. Sonic Sensor, it's waiting. Looks like Comeback was ready for it and will activate it as he walks away. Removing a piece of utility for this squad. One kill for Solkus. The Annihilation is online and that could save the round in the position they're currently in. Pacific on the retake. Spam's good. Loida down extremely low. Dropped in fact. It's hype. And Avova claiming the kill. He took the spike. If he died anywhere else, he was screwed. And look at the counter. So much to put things down, but it's still... The opener going the way of Pacific. Now look at what they have. This was pistols, a single rifle, an ultimate that's now been denied and an ultimate that gets them an opener. They may have a man advantage, but they have no other advantage in this round. Jellison, he's hit the timing almost perfectly. Even a one for one there, it's not too bad. Oh, the nade, the shrouded step though from Loida. He's now up top, position spotted, and Kayak finding the kill from below. The dreams of Apex stay alive, but they've only equalized the numbers. The pistols trying desperately to get a rifle back, and Comeback's landed the kill. The space now theirs, and the 2v2 that they can fight for, but Comeback so desperately low. The headshot's perfect, but he won't land the next. Hype with all the pressure on his shoulders to keep the dream alive, and he'll land the third. Denying a lot of the abilities. 
they go. The split into the B side. It's Laroque to fall first. Come back. Catches one. Thins out the herd that's approaching B, but Lloyda still has to stand strong. He drops Malzi, but he can be brought right back. Lloyda has to be so careful. And with Rose by his side, he doesn't need to anymore. They can take these fights. The revive Malzi in danger. Hype up close, though. Punishes. Keeps the numbers even. With low HP on Rose, this could be Apex buying a third. A, a fifth map, even. The PO5 running deep with Rose on low HP. Ascension. May come all the way down to Ascent, where we'll see one team rise. Loida is the only one that can keep the dream alive, that can stop them from going the distance in this series. And even then, he has to bring us to overtime first. Hype's fourth kill, locks it in. He thing throughout the year, and it can all crumble to nothing. Come back, it's gonna start things off with a collapse. It doesn't get much better than that for the side of Pacific. Well, he's brought his discount code two for one today for comeback. A few shots don't land after, but that's, well, it's not just fine. LaRock's gone down. Numbers equalized, pulled back to 3v3 with Kayak opening sight for them. It's only Lloyda that's here to defend. Pacific won't be in place on time. Rose is close by and has a recon. But they think that this squad might have gone a different direction. Loida just about evaded their sight. Tuck down below, but they suspect that the reveal gets him to shoot a bullet, and Kayak returns one to his head. This is Apex after a collapse that started. He's completely blinded up within the first few seconds. He's going to take that space towards mid. Now already the doors have been closed. Looks to re-clear short instead. Make space across yeah. the map for the rest of his team while selling a ruse. He spotted his target paranoia has been put into play. He looks to eliminate Loiter, and the setup is perfection. That operator is still in hand though. Come back, waiting to try and land those shots, but the trade is almost immediate. In fact, it's Rose who's managed to do the majority of the damage from behind. He's dropped the spike behind the door, and then they open it for him. A peekaboo, a surprise that puts them in a 2v2 situation with spikes still dropped on the deck, but there's plenty of time to be played with. And to shred them after. Instead, it's going to be a flash and a big play from LaRock offered up. If he can dodge that, correct in time, and the judge will be deadly up close. One drop, and annihilation activated. He tried to at least make them pay for that, and comeback is the one to apply the cost. Spike on its way, and comeback still holding strong, taking the pin out as Lloyd fires from afar, and they swing together to drop a Vova. Hype, the last one, with a chance to make a dent on this round. 12 seconds left, and he's already trying to find the player around the box. Ring a ring a Rosie. And the time is surely gone. Two players to deny this plan. Shock darts on the way and bullets. It's only Rose and Jellison here to defend the cam. Point of contact gets the information, but Jellison's in a tough spot. Oh, and especially oh, no. after that. Now they're all around and pistols everywhere up close. And the numbers, well, they overwhelm them quite quickly. In oh. fact, not a single dent to be done so far. Apex, they lose one. Come back, trying to make it costly. The Blade Storm's even invested as he goes into the sight, picking them apart. But it might not be enough. Even after a big play from Comeback, we need one from Laroc. He's almost caught with an aid in hand and makes it past the wall. Right over to the switch, an off angle now, the big swing coming, the shots don't land though! Push them back a little. Lloyd has been seen. That's not a spot that you really want to be in. He's going to have to try and fight his way out and he doesn't. Kayak is going to win that opener. We're seeing a few more blunders creep in for Pacific. Fights that don't need to be taken, risks that aren't paying off. And while already that advantage nice. looking like it'll be converted even further, it's comeback that gets caught. There is a trade, and actually LaRock finds another. He's the man holding on the back of the side, somehow does more work than expected. But even still, the rest, a little bit late to the party. I say that, Rose is it's just diving in, looking to try and do this all. Has support from teammates, and with the spike still rotating into position, they'll retake it before it even what? begins. Somehow, another kill has come through. A swing back in, but it's left all onto one and a hundred times. And if he does it this time, he will meet his maker. Come back straight in with the opening. B site secured. And the squad on A ready for a hit. They're getting aggressive, in fact, stepping right up to Avova. But luckily, he spotted them. Yeah, they want to try and deny this man anything. He's going to go TP. He's trying to TP behind them in the spawn. I don't even know if they realize he's here. He's going to fight into it. Avova's just found a pick. And now this leaves a couple of players somewhat surrounded. They're going to isolate Jellison. Somehow, 
what was just an instinct play has actually worked wonders. Mosey with another. This round again is starting to fall apart for Pacific with a spike down in another dog spot. They go to fight this one and Evolver's there again. He should have been dead to rights. They look to surround him. And now, comeback. Operator in hand. Maybe the worst gone for the job, but he's going to try it anyway. Dash is in! Oh, the spam. Won't do too much. As you said, there's some gaps. The TP in. And that blade sword already gone. In fact, a couple of players from Pacific have already hit the dirt, but two that remain are sat within the back of this site, trying to hold. Already ultimate utilized, but it's only going to be that singular. And the second player has been caught in the web of Solkas. No chance at survival. And little to no chance for the Rock to try and find this one. He knows a couple at least are within the site. He can probably make the educated guess that the third is there as well. But how he isolates them, that's a completely different ball game. Anybody's guess, really. He's got two flashes, but I'm going to be using the, the dry peak to start. Spots one, spots two. quick in this series was a good sign, but they have had their blips, had their slip-ups. They don't want this to be another one. Under pressure is Molsey, and he's going to go down. That's a rifle in hand. Bear in mind, on the other side, there's an operator. Hype goes walking right into it. The trade, though, is immediate, and Rose has not had the best time when it comes to defending this site. He's almost in a one-and-done angle. It's whether or not he's actually going to find that one at all. He will, and then trade it out. Spike down. Could be enough. Laroque already here, backed up by Jellison. They'll take the space. And sure, the wall's gonna block for a moment, buy some time, but the reveal means there's nowhere else that they need to look. No concerns. I think one of those sonic sensors destroyed immediately. The plant to be found. Avova dropped off the bat, and Solkus will get this round. nothing. Already though, you till denied. Hunter's Fury activated, come back on for one. The Rock, he's caught behind the wall, but they step right into Brawlum. That's a big mistake. 5v3, Apex, huge disadvantage now, locked out of every part of the map they try to fight, and the wall they put down is now being broken. No control for the attacking side, no advantage to fall back on, and their eyes seem to shift to the B side. Their focus left. there, traps still await them, as does Jalison. The rest of the squad is rotating through. The cams caught the information. One Rose one has caught the cross and Hunter's <laughs> Fury will be put through to try and hunt oh. Ballsy down. And well, Pacific. Was... It's almost a must. That's so oh. much damage. That shock dart has left three players on their last legs. Comeback is still not shying away from a fight. Maybe he should have done. Similarly to the last, it's a collapse to start things off, but as we saw, that didn't confirm the round. This time might be different though, as Kayak's found another triple. Jellison, last man standing, another shock dart to leave him Bean at the top. He was the first to reach it here in EMEA, and he's on his way back. Kayak, the young gun, joining that experience, Ooh, and he's careful. picking up the opening. Malsy realizes that's not, maybe not a risk he needs to take. Avoids the spam battle down mid. Still an advantage late into the round, and they're walking right into the deadlock setup. Yeah, this is the thing. You've got to try and delete it. A dash into this position will almost definitely leave you stunned, and instead, they're walking right into the hands of Kayak, who is tearing them a new one. Loiter, last man standing, and while shocked up, it tells you that they know where he is. It doesn't even matter. Look at where the spike is. Getting past all of this utility is a no-go, a no-show. And it's looking like that's the case for Pacific in this final map. They have me and the rebuild. He's been a massive part of this team and he's just been given time to talk to his boys. Pressure, seemingly making diamonds as Kayak is coming alive exactly when they need him most. Map number five is where that Polish superstar just left. This series that Pacific have fought so damn hard for but history, this time, doesn't look to repeat itself as Molsey picks up the first. The dominoes start to fall with damage done to come back. He's on 10 HP. The man who's pulled them out of so many tough spots in this series, in this tournament, but now he's gone in what could be the last round. Jellison trying his best, but flanked out, and the rock is all that stands of their chances. One HP on Solkus. Perhaps it's a Vova the first strike champion, the hero of old, to step up to the mantle once more, or with one HP, Solkus, one of the longest standing tier one players, Liquid for three years, he might just make his way back.
Evolver. He's been around for a long, long time and looks to try and face off against one of those new kids on the block. He spotted him. That final kill is absolutely everything. Timing comes down to the last second. He's got himself the paranoia. Leaves him completely blind. And Evova is going to send Pacific packing. It is Apex to undo everything that happened last year. And they will be your Ascension champions making it to the VCT. It is Apex. All the hard work, Tom. It all leads to this. That trophy hoisted high with pride. <laughs> Fanatica jealous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what. Uh, they're going to be messaging Apex here. You guys can store that in our case if you want. It might be one of the finest trophies we've had here in EMEA. I'll tell you what, it's one of the finest teams too. This squad is going to do damage. And they've got a lot of time to cook and ruminate. What they bring to the stage next year will be deadly. It will be.